Hey guys, I'm continuing straight on from the previous video. So we're now up to finding the i value. Once again, we're going to be using the parallel axis theorem, which is i equals i plus a y squared. So for the first component, we'll do the uncracked section up here, this block, this red block. So its i value will be bh cubed on 12. So b is 1200 times by h cubed. So the height is the neutral axis, which is 89.32. 89.32 cubed on 12 plus the area which is 1200 by 89.32 times by the distance to its centroid from the centroid so the centroid of this red block would be y bar on 2 so it would be over there which is y bar on 2 so that value divided by 2 now the distance from the neutral axis to the centroid because it's symmetrical, it's also going to be y bar on 2. So all, all the distances is just 89.32 on 2. So 89.32 on 2, and that's squared. Plus, so that's the first component, the, the uh, red block. Now we'll do this replacement steel, which is now concrete. So the area... Okay, so once again, for this, for, for the steel, for that component and that component, when you replace the steel, because the I value is so small, you ignore it. So it's just the AY squared. So its area is 9081.8, 9801.8, times by Y, which is the distance of its own centroid to the global centroid. So the global centroid is at 89.32. So 89.32 minus its own centroid is at the layer of steel, the centroid of the layer of steel, which is a 57 from the top. So that's squared plus the last component, which is this area of steel, or now area of concrete, 20443, times by the distance from its centroid. So its centroid is at 339 from the top. That's the centroid of that layer of steel, minus the global centroid, which is now 89.32 squared and if you